downtown San Francisco skyline. It's the Damon Bruce Show. Now, here's Damon Bruce. Well, let's just say you're a school looking to make an impression on somebody determining who they might bring to a bowl game. Well, you could do a whole lot worse than ending a team's undefeated regular season at home in one of the most exciting pinball games college football's had all year long. An amazing 62-52 win for the Spartans in regulation to get bowl eligible. Ending 16th ranks, Fresno State's bid in an undefeated year. David Fales was un- unbelievable. And head coach Ron Carragher called a monster game. Let me ask you, Coach, all the stops throughout your entire coaching tenure, not just this year at San Jose State, is that your signature win? Well, I'll tell you what, it probably is. I, I think so. It was uh, what a heck of a football game for any fan to watch to be around. Uh, you got two senior quarterbacks that are playing at a high level, throwing the ball in the money, and that first half, I've never seen numbers like that game, 28-27 at the end of the first quarter, 42-41 at the halftime, both quarterbacks throwing six touchdown passes. Uh, it was a great day to be a Spartan. I'm so proud of our, our team, proud of our seniors. There's, there's nothing like ending the regular season with a victory, doing so against a rival, and, uh, and, and an undefeated team and a ranked team. So it was really a great day for Spartan football. Yeah, Coach, we've asked you so many times this year about getting David Fales in position to put up some gaudy numbers. Well, boy, did you save the best for last. 736 <laughs> yards of total offense uh, and six touchdowns, 547 yards for your quarterback. I mean, that is just – those numbers are, are PlayStation 4-like. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, David was playing lights out football. The ball was on the money. The receivers were running sharp route, uh, exact routes, as we call it, where their proper depth, the timing in the passing game was on. And then the run game really kicked up in the second half to add another element where we could eat up the clock and keep David Carr and, and that uh, dynamic offense that Fresno State has off the field. So uh, you're right. The numbers were big. It was uh, exciting football. Yeah, uh, It was really, really good, and I think a great, great statement to make on national television – while you're sitting here now bowl eligible with i think a very important thing going is that this is not like you just became bowl eligible out of nowhere you were a a team that went to a bowl last year you know uh, under the previous coach and won that bowl and i think if i'm a bowl i'm looking for senior quarterbacks dynamic offenses uh a little been there done that and Sparty meets all three of those criteria. Most, most definitely. Uh, I, I think uh, we have an exciting offense. Uh, we, we, we run a, a, a type of system that people enjoy seeing. I mean, even our last two games, we put up 110 points, 112 plus points in the last two games. People enjoy that. A, a passing game that is clicking. And I think, uh, I think we're the, Lawrence Fran told me this quote, the, uh, the statistic, we're the only Mountain West team in 2013 to beat a ranked opponent, uh, the top 20 ranked opponent. Uh, so really exciting stuff, exciting for our seniors. Uh, you know, I know there are no guarantees, uh, to get a bowl because there are a, a, a number of bowl eligible teams and there's only so many slots. But I think we have a lot. We bring a lot to the table, and and uh, hopefully uh, a bowl will pick us because they're going to get a great product. What can you do, Coach, in terms of campaigning? What can your athletic director do? I mean, he is incredibly tied in to the system, helped the Boise State rise. Uh, Gene Blameyer is a smart guy. What buttons can be pushed after the fact? Well, we have the right guy uh, as our athletic director. His experience, his knowledge of how the bowl system works. He started uh, a bowl himself up in Idaho. He understands how it works. So he, I know, has been talking to the conference commissioner. Uh, conference commissioner is aware. He wants to get all of his teams in the bowl games. And I know we have seven eligible teams. Um, but I think the best thing you can do... Damon is put a great product on the field, an exciting product, 
and a, a product with a huge signature win. And, and it's not like it came in September. It came last weekend. So I think uh, it was on national television. I think all those things work in our favor. And uh, hopefully it will all work out because our, our kids want to play again. They want to practice for another two couple weeks and uh, and finish uh, get one more game in for our 22 seniors. Head coach Ron Carriger here on the Damon Bruce Show. Now, like you were saying a couple weeks ago, it's not just the opportunity to play in the bowl. It's the opportunity to continue practicing that is such an important part of becoming a bowl-bound team. Um, is, is there anything you – let's say the unfortunate does happen and you're not allowed – to uh, go to a bowl. You're not selected. When is the next time you can get back onto the field with your team? Well, it would be spring football practice. And, and for us, I've, I've, I've tentatively set it up for end of February. Uh, but again, that's shifting gears to the 2014 version of San Jose State football. So we still, we still want to finish with the 2013 version, uh, get on the field, practice more, and, and have – one more game in our in our system to to play and to to have that team atmosphere with our seniors so hopefully that'll happen and then yeah the next time after that will be spring football practice wow so it's, it's it's way too early to start looking forward to next year uh yeah. but i know that in, right. a, in a strange way you always got to be doing that coach you're out on the road recruiting right now where in the world am i talking to you from i know you're not at your desk today no, I'm not. I'm down in Orange County right now, recruiting down here. And as uh, you're absolutely right, you've got to keep recruiting. My college coach Terry Donahue used to always say, "Recruiting is your lifeline. You've got to be recruiting, recruiting, because that brings in you know your future players." And we lose 22 seniors, um, guys who gave a lot to this program, and some of them leaving some big shoes behind uh, to fill. But I'm confident uh, recruiting's going really well and and uh, a lot of excitement around our program with uh, winning the game we did Saturday with the season we had, I'm sorry, Friday against Fresno on national television and the season we had. A lot of excitement, a lot of optimism about the future, about the future and a lot of freshmen. We show, hey, we're not afraid to play freshmen. We had... We had a significant number of young first-year players in our program play and and that contributed in, in a significant way. So that's excitement about the future, and we're just going to keep it going and, and bring in a really good recruiting class here. Like you were saying, Coach, it is the only team in the conference to post a win over a ranked team this season. Coming off of a spectacular performance, 62 points. If you can give up 52 and win, it doesn't even matter at that point. Uh, it's the second highest scoring game of the year. Uh, it was, uh, it was, it, it was the first time the Spartans have beaten a ranked team in 14 years. It was, uh, really, I, I think a crowning achievement of a hard fought year coach as you installed your philosophy your character, your fingerprints over this team. I know a lot of San Jose State alumni were totally sold on what you did by what you showed them this year. Uh, and I, I think it was a great debut season for you, and I very much hope it's not even close to being over. I think you're going to get selected for a bowl game, and I think we're going to be talking to you about it next week. Well, I appreciate the compliments, Damon. Uh, it is exciting. And, and yeah, there, there are growing pains when there's change and, and so forth. And, and we went through some challenging uh, times this year, but it's those challenging times that you often grow the most uh, as a team, as a person. And, and I'm proud of our young men because as, as tough as some of those losses, over the last three weeks we had uh, two of the toughest losses I've ever been around uh, in a late fourth quarter overtime the and Navy game. Uh, yet our guys yeah the Navy game three overtimes the Fresno State we we're up in the fourth quarter early by 12 and just tough losses but our guys bounce back and and that's what you have to do you can't stay down long you got to bounce back and and they they bounce back after that triple overtime loss to Navy and, and just had a great performance uh against a really good Fresno State football team. It's a testament to your players. It's a testament to your coaching staff. Thank you so much, Ron. Hey, thank you, Damon. Always a pleasure to be on your show. You got it. And I hope, hey, by the way, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I don't have to ask you. Your team was moving fast the day after eating all those calories. So it was a good Thanksgiving, (laughs) and we'll talk to you before Christmas for sure. 
Sounds good. Thanks, Damon. Thanks very much, Coach. Out on the road down in Orange County recruiting for the Spartans, head coach Ron Carragher here on the Damon Bruce Show. Always good to talk to him. We'll give you a couple more reasons why Sparty should be going bowling before it's all said and done.